All right, y'all. So I'm going to give y'all some of the behind the scenes song by song on this album, Restoration. Uh, the first song on the album is called Restore Me. Uh, uh, my guy Taylor Hill just came in, did a lot of great production, uh, wrote on the hook, and it's one of my favorite songs on the project. It's the one I go to, go back to over and over again. It's the perfect way to start the album. Uh, check a little bit of it out. I lost everything I had inside a couple years. Lost my faith, I lost my mind, I lost a lot of tears. I spoke up about these problems that I saw outside. People turn their back on me, you would've swore I died. Oh my God, I feel dead inside, I feel like suicide. Going too far to turn back, he said, hey. They said, how you get about? I just said a prayer. So anyway, I'm not gonna play you the whole thing. It's a phenomenal song. Uh, obviously, it's got a lot of layers to it. Taylor Hill just kills it, it's a great song. So everybody has heard this song, Set Me Free, the first single off the album. Uh, Set Me Free was a process to get done. Oh my gosh, uh, you know, I went out to Florida, did the track with Gavi. Then we had to get my man YK Osiris in the studio here in Atlanta and just organizing all those pieces. This is a song that I rewrote a few different times to get certain parts right. It was crazy, but the song ended up being dope. Also, you know, the sample from the Mary Mary Classic Shackles. It was it was some work, man, but it came out phenomenal and I'm excited about it. You know what I mean? Take the shackles on my feet so I can crazy part is once I got some of the song done, I sent it immediately to Warren Campbell, uh, Erica Campbell's uh, husband and producer of Shackles, and uh, he went crazy, I went crazy, it's a great song. Shackles, man, set me free, you know what I'm saying? Set me free, we all need to be set free. The next song is Wheels Up, featuring Marky e. Basie. Mark is one of my favorite artists. Uh, we connected a while back and just wanted to put something together in the realm of just kind of like mental health and just how we keep it together. It's one of my favorite tracks on the album. Say my man S1 produced the track. It is definitely one of the best songs on the album, if you ask my opinion. So. Uh, it's Wheels Up, let's get it. Wheels up, put the seats back. For me, it was just fun to rap, rap, you know what I mean? And it's a true story, you know what I mean? I'm on the edge of introvert, extrovert, so sometimes I need my alone time. And the plane is where I get that alone time at, man. And so, you know, a lot of great, uh, man, it's just a great hip hop song. So that's Wheels Up, featuring Marky Basie. All right, y'all, one of my other favorites. All the songs are my favorite, but this was one of my for real favorites. Over the Top. When you've been in the industry as long as I have, you got all the plaques, all the awards. You're over it, man. You just want to see impact happen. You're not really, you know, you've already been led down the path of thinking it's all about you, and you you get over yourself. You know what I'm saying? You realize the greater mission, the greater purpose. So this song is Over the Top. 30 Rock produced this, the same guy that produced Roddy Rich's The Box. Uh, so you can already tell it's gonna be a great track, but this is over the top, man. Over the top, oh, ain't no love though. So much spot though. I'm on the show. I work out to the song every day. Like I've been working out the song every day since I, I finished the, the, the track. Over the top's gonna take you over the top. So it's hard. So one of the more introspective songs on this is Self Discovery. It's dope because it features a lot of my family members uh, just sharing some different stuff. It's some real raw conversations mixed in with the chorus. Self-discovery is just the process of me understanding who God created me to be. And um, we're all going through that process of learning who we are. So uh, Self-discovery, um, also produced by my man S1. He killed it. They test at the west side of the motherland is where they take us from. Um, never remember daddy's house, so I couldn't tell y'all if I'm Zulu or Corsa. Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that when I was in the studio with Kevin Wooten, S1, and we just came together and cooked up some stuff, and it felt really good. So I think Self-discovery is a classic hip-hop song. Uh, people will love it. Self-discovery. All right, so the next song is Deep End. The funny part about Deep End is Deep End was not even supposed to be on this album. Um, obviously, all the social and, and racial unrest going on in society uh, had me feeling the way, so I just got the pen and, and pad. I didn't really write anything down. I used my phone. But I just got together, started writing some song, some lyrics to a particular track, and uh, my man uh, Ace Harris, you know, just chopped it up really well and made a song that ended up being you know, something that we, we felt like we needed and uh, we threw it on the album because it was necessary and it fit right in, you know what I'm saying? Because the next song after Deep End is Drown. You're in the deep end and then you drown. It's crazy. I, that's the Lord. I've been trying not to uh, stay on point. I've been trying to sing my voice, but you're gay. Another interesting part about Deep End is that that music video was the quickest music video I ever shot in my career and it came out as one of the most phenomenal videos I've done as well. So shout out to Alice for that. 
Next song is Drown. Drown is one of the first songs we actually had done for the album. We knew when we heard the, the, the production on it, my man Frank E, shout out to Frank E, who also produced I'll Find You. Uh, we knew when we heard it, it was gonna be a big song. And so we just wanted to really fight to get it done. Um, a, lot, a lot of times it's hard to get the features for certain songs. So we knew that was gonna take some time and it just so happened that I had some mutual friends with John Legend. Uh, we got to talking and he was all the way down to do Drown. As, I'm sorry for that bad. But anyway, this is Drown. Crazy fun song to make. Even though we didn't get it just right and John is a perfectionist, we had to get on FaceTime so we tweak stuff. But it's great. Humble guy, talented guy. Drown. All right, so the next song is Saturday Night. As I was going through my life and my and this album, I wanted people to get a full picture of my real life. Saturday Night to me was symbolic of like the edge of saying, yo man, something's gotta change. Industry parties, all the success, all the stuff going on, and you're soaking it all in and you're like, yo, this can't be it. And I have truth and I have understanding, I have God. So just me reflecting on everything, you know, kind of like you're in the midst of a party, but you're reflecting on the reality. So Saturday Night featuring Jazzy. Jazzy, if you don't know Jazzy, Jazzy had a lot to do with Old Town Road, just say Is this real? Here I am in the club again, yeah. Cage like WrestleMania. Girls wanna rap, but anyone? And I probably look at 10. I mean, I made a couple hits. I know some other songs produced by my man Oshi, phenomenal producer. I'm a big fan of his as well, so. A great song, man. Uh, I think people will appreciate it. So that's Saturday night. You can't have a Saturday night without Sunday morning, and you can't have a Sunday morning without Kirk Franklin. So Sunday morning is really just like the waking up on Sunday morning saying, all right, I'm done with the nonsense and I'm really going to be serious about the direction that my life is going in and, and taking my faith serious and taking my mission serious. Kirk just killed it. I mean, not only did he kill it production wise, he also killed it. His pen game. Y'all just got to, his pen game's crazy, but. I've been messed up. and seven souls remind me that the tree of life is so uncertain i mean kirk just takes it there man it's a phenomenal song one of my favorites on the album sunday morning it's you you need it i need it we all need it i keep saying one of my favorite songs they're all like my favorite songs zombies hands down i had so much fun doing this song zombie and people would think like why is the song called zombie and that's some of the just the the contrast i don't know just the the, the dissonance of that title and what it's about, but honestly, that's how, you know, I was. It's kind of like The Walking Dead, just like out here living without really taking inventory on what it was I was doing. And sometimes that's just our life, man. We just out here walking. I mean, it's just a great song, it's fun. And, um, you know, we got some surprises for you on Zombie too. So, you know, it's my real life story. I'm telling my real life, everything you hear in Zombie is true. So when you hear it, You'll be like, whoa, that's true? Yes. Running with my dogs, catching pace, pace. Take you on a trip down memory lane. 17, I think I fell in love with a stripper. Slow and sip and smoke until I'm blown away. You just, I mean, the zombie. It's, the mental pictures you'll get are great. And it's a very, like, redemptive song. So listen to it all the way through. We got more gym music for you. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. If that doesn't keep you going in the gym, nothing will. So keep going. I don't know, man. It's just like, let the trap say, man, bled over onto restoration. Just me just having to just, you know, go crazy one time. You know what I'm saying? Cut that up, Quay. We've been too lit, we've been too true, ain't no fraud. Quarterbacking, pitching impacts, they trying to set me if they catch me lacking. Shout out to Quay Global, you know Quay from Lil Baby. I mean, that's all I'm saying. Keep going. Ah, there must always be something for the ladies. I mean, on every album. I'm going to dedicate some music to my lady, you feel me? And that's what Steel is. Steel is that dedication to my baby, you feel me? Uh, featuring Danny Lay, who is, you know, I mean, she's she's that girl right now. She's doing her thing thing. So linked up in the studio and uh, made something special for my baby. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's for your baby too, but still. Yeah. 
Daddy did her thing. Shout out to Nova Wave. These are just all incredible women producing, writing, singing on this track. So they killed this thing, and uh, you know, it's a special one. Only Human featuring my man BJ, the Chicago kid. Me and BJ go back, back, like way back, like four flats on a Cadillac. We've been wanting to do some music together for a long time, man, for years. And this is the song that finally did it. Only Human is us admitting, man, we do not have it all together. You know what I'm saying? So this is actually one of the first songs that I wrote for the album. I was just in a dark place and I was coming out of the darkness into the light. Um, and I wrote this and then I got with BJ and uh, man, he just, ah, oh, man. He said he needed the song. It was therapeutic for him. And so he was excited just to put his pen to the pad. And uh, this is uh, this is only human. It sounds like a whole orchestra. Please forgive me if I mess up. I wanna let you watch so much pressure. Play me, I'm foolish. Don't too lazy. God say take heat, let you fall. But I'm such an October baby. Need you to hold me down. Yeah, man, it's a special song. Uh, just me. Being honest with God, saying I don't have it all together, I need help. Uh, so that is Only Human featuring one of my boys, my dogs, BJ the Chicago Kid, special guy. The last song on the album, which is actually the first song to be written for this album, is Nothing Left to Hide. And I knew when I was coming into this restoration album, I had to strip myself of every kind of sense of self-protection that there was and be totally transparent. You know, you cannot be healed unless you admit you're broken. And so this is that song of just like brokenness, saying, look, y'all, I don't got nothing left to hide, and I want people to heal from hearing this song. Produced by my man S1, featuring my girl Gwen Bunn, who's a beast, and it's just a special song. I got too much to say, but I haven't said enough. I call the music business bluff, I ain't famous enough. Huh. Who cares if they think I'm saved enough? Grace is sufficient, my blood don't have gave enough. And they be tripping when they see a Christian. Yeah, I'm really going there on this record, so uh, it's a three-verse song. That's because I had a lot to say. So make sure you check out Nothing Left to Hide featuring Gwen Bunn. Restoration album. Get it. Got it. Good. Once again, I'll probably never be the same, but I ain't worried because I know we restoring me. What's going on, y'all? Thank you for checking out my channel. Make sure you hit the like, the subscribe, and ring the bell for the notifications. Also, check me out on social media. Name is spelled L-E-C-R-A-E. God bless you.